Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful Solomon's knot bandana pattern. For this bandana, you can use any kind of yarn with a suitable hook size. So now let's get started. I'm taking my yarn and the hook. Now work a slip knot. Now from your work chain one. Now we're going to pull this loop little bit up like this. And we're going to hold this chain one space from two fingers like this and now grab the yarn and pull through from this loop and now we're going to insert the hook from this loop and now again grab the yarn and then work a single crochet so here we made our first knot and this is how it looks like so now we're going to work the same pull the loop little bit up like this and now grab the yarn and pull through that loop again we have to insert the hook from that the loop we made now and now grab the yarn and then work a single crochet so make sure to work all the loops in same size now again we're going to do the same pull up your loop like this and again grab the yarn and then insert the hook from this loop and grab the yarn now work a single crochet again we're going to do the same so on the first round we have to work four loops like this So here we made our fourth loop. Now we're going to work a single crochet to the first chain space we made here. We started this with a chain one. So we're going to insert the hook from that chain one and work a single crochet. So here we made our first round and now we're going to just mark the corner. So we have to just skip that joining space and the next loop we are going to place a stitch marker here so we know this is our top point of the triangle so now we're going to start the second round so always in a corner we're going to work three knots so pull up your loop and work a knot and work a single crochet again pull up your loop and work another knot and then now work a single crochet again one more time pull up your loop and work a knot and then work a single crochet so here we made three knots now we're going to do is just turn your work like this and now we're going to join so we're going to insert the hook from this loop it's opposite to that stitch marker you can see now work a single crochet into that loop now again we're going to work the last corner so we have to work three knots so pull up your loop and work a knot and then work a single crochet again pull up your loop like this and work a knot and then work a single crochet and then do the same one more time so a total you should have three knots because this is the last corner so now we're going to join this into the last loop here you can see into this space we're going to work a single crochet so that is next to the stitch marker so here we made our second round and now this is how it looks like you can see we already created a triangle shape now we're going to start the next round but before that i'm going to place stitch markers into the both corners so i will not be confused later on so into this corner and this knot space i'm going to attach a stitch marker like this so here you can see we stop this round on the bottom so we have to go to up here to start the next round so for that i'm going to work only one knot so then only we can go up there and start the next round so here i made one knot and now turn your work and then i'm going to join this loop into this stitch marker space it means to the corner so insert the hook from this loop space here and work a single crochet okay here we made a single crochet so now we can start the third round so as i told you before in both corners we have to work three knots so we're going to pull up a loop and work a knot and then continue work two more knots okay here you can see i made three knots so now insert the hook from this knot space here and work a single crochet now in the middle we have to work only two knots 
So here, pull up your loop and work a knot and then work a single crochet and work another knot. So here you can see I work two knots. Now we're going to do is just join. So skip this space and join into the next loop here. So insert the hook from that space and work a single crochet. So here we made our middle part. Now we have to do the last corner. So for that work, three knots. Okay, here we made three knots because of this corner we always have to do three knots so now we're going to insert the hook from this last corner and work a single crochet so here we made our third row and this is how it looks like so now i'm going to insert the stitch markers into both corners here so i will know from where to start without any confusion so now you can see we stop this round in the bottom so to start the next round we have to go to this corner so for that work one knot only and then turn your work and we're going to join into the first corner here so we're going to insert the hook from this stitch marker place to the first corner and work a single crochet so here we came to the up so we can start the next round so as we done on previous rows we had to work three knots into the corners always remember we had to work three knots to the corners to both sides so now we made three knots now we're going to join into this knot and work a single crochet so only into the corners we're working three so into the middle we are working only two knots so i'm going to work two knots okay here i made two knots now we're going to join into the next space so we have to skip this place and into this knot space we're going to work a single crochet so now we have another middle part so into this middle also we're going to work two knots so after making two knots we had to skip this space and into this knot space we're going to work a single crochet now you can see we reach to the corner as i told you before we have to work three knots to the corners so here i'm making three knots and then we're going to join into this corner to this stitch marker place here we completed this round also and this is how it looks like you can see we created a triangle shape so now i'm going to mark the both corners so you can see here i'm going to insert the stitch marker from this place and place a stitch marker to the other corner here you can see we have three knots and we're going to mark into the first knot so here you can see this is how it looks like now to start the next round you should work one knot and go to the upper knot here and we can start the next row so you should work one knot and then work a single crochet here okay here we came to the corner now we have to work three knots in a corner always remember work three knots to both sides to the corners and work two knots to the middle so now from here you have to do is just continue the same pattern again and again till your design comes okay here you can see i completed my triangle and this is how it looks like and it measures 12 inches but you can make any size you want now we're going to do the straps so for that we have to go to that corner so i'm going to work one knot to go to that corner here so work a single crochet to this corner now from here we're going to work chains i'm going to work 80 chains here you can see i worked 80 chains so now we're going to cut off the yarn so you just keep a little bit tail and cut off the yarn so we're going to do the same to the next side so work a slip knot and i'm going to insert the hook from this corner and work a slip stitch and to this side also we're going to work 80 chains so here we completed our both side straps and now this is how it looks like so now we made our beautiful solomon's knot bandana pattern i hope you like this video if you like give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you soon with another beautiful tutorial until that take care bye bye